Well, of course, I didn't actually make a video because, well, I later found out it's true. But anyways, yes, Slappy World is real. It's going to be a book series. We already have the first one of Slappy Birthday to you. So I'm going to give you a little idea, even though we have no idea what Slappy's New Year is going to go down. We have no idea how it's going to go down, but I'm just going to just spit two ideas of it and if Arles is like trying to figure out what to do well I don't think he's doing that I think he knows what he's doing but anyways Slappy's New Year it kind of seems like it's Slappy New Year it kind of seems like it could be comparison to it and who knows maybe it actually is the sequel to that one not sure but here's an idea. Here's two options. Number one, and Slappy birthday to you. Slappy is someone's birthday gift. And as soon as he got him, well, Slappy decides to freaking rampage. You know, same old Slappy stuff. Number two, and it gets even good. It's so good. Number two is this. is that Slappy shows up and there's two siblings. There's the oldest sibling, this youngest sibling. And the youngest sibling's birthday is coming very, very shortly. And Slappy is in the picture. Slappy decides to screw over the little kid because, well, I'll tell you in a minute. But, yeah, he decides to do everything possible to make this little kid's freaking journey to the birthday a living hell. Everything is going wrong from decorations getting destroyed some of the, I don't know, there's lots of stuff that could happen. But here's the main part. Here's the best part that they could do that is going to be so funny that it's like, oh, dude, seriously? And I'm like, yep. So the reason why he's torturing this little kid is because she reminds him of the girl from Slappy's Nightmare. That's right, the girl with the purple hat. So we could. <laughs> uh, uh, of course, yes, we already know that in the book, technically, he knows that it was Wally and it was all a freaking dream, anyways. Let's just go with the idea of Slappy kind of over the years forgot what exactly happened in the dream and he hates the girl anyways because well the dream was a total nightmare to him of course so for anything that actually reminds him what happened of that nightmare most likely will be something he's like i'm gonna freaking screw you over and that's what happened to the kid <laughs> the kid doesn't have the purple hat but still you look just like her and because of that he freaks over your birthday <laughs> If they make that awesome comparison, I will have to just put thumbs up right there, right then and there. But on the other hand, if you do do the whole happy birthday, some weird uncle or something got this ventriloquist dummy and now, yeah, here you go. You can have it. And there we go. Of course, third option is idea, which would be maybe Jimmy O. James returns again and well, he does the same exact thing that happened in Bride of the Living Dummy, but of course that sounds too stupid because he already did it in Bride of the Living Dummy. And to again get rid of Slappy, it kind of seems like, okay, what the frick? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. What do you guys think? Slappy New Year. Slappy birthday to you. Sorry about that. What do you think that actually will become of? Will it actually be exactly what I pictured? Or could it actually be something entirely different? Which, if it's entirely different, I wouldn't hate it, but I would just say, oh, that's cool. <laughs> but, of course, if I guessed it on the spot, I would just straight up laugh. Especially the part of where he just messed with the freaking little girl because she reminds him of someone that he once knew in the dream. Oh, man, that would be a good one. Anyways, thank you for watching and tell me what you guys think about all this. <laughs>